In this video I'm showing how I fixed a APC Smart UPS 750 that had a bad battery. This UPS is a couple years old and it's still using the original battery. And I realize it failed the way that most people probably find out and that's by the chirping that you hear every two seconds or so. It also displays the connect battery warning on screen and the red LED comes on over the battery icon. Before I started I turned the UPS off by hitting the power button. It'll ask you if you want to turn it off, just say yes with no delay. Also unplug the power cord as well. To access the battery you have to remove this front panel. I used a screwdriver in these grooves on the side here to get it started. And then the front panel comes right off. It is still attached by a ribbon cable though so you just have to kind of lay it on the top while you work on it. Then you can just pull out on these two white pins here to lower this plate and you should find the batteries behind it. There's nothing else holding the batteries in at this point so you should be able to just pull them out of the UPS. The batteries come with this little wiring connector on the top of them here. If you order the official APC branded replacement batteries, it looks like they come with one of these connectors already attached. But when I started pricing out the official batteries, I found that they are a tad expensive. And I am cheap, so I decided to pry these connectors off of the old batteries with the plan to put them on whatever Chinesium grade replacement batteries I find on Amazon. I had to measure the terminals to make sure I was ordering the right replacements. These terminals measured at just over 6.35 millimeters, so these are the F2 type terminals. So I found this two pack of batteries off of Amazon. It's a brand I've never heard of before, but the reviews were decent and they were half the price of the APC batteries, so I thought why not give it a try. There's not really a whole lot to it. I just reattached this wiring connector to the terminals on the top here. And then I slid the battery back into the front of the UPS. Then I put the metal plate back in place and pushed the pins in. And also got the front panel seated back into place as well. Then I reconnected the power cord. And moment of truth, turned the UPS on and no smoke so far, green lights, looks good. I let the UPS sit and charge for a little while and then I ran a self test on it. That passed and I've been using it for a few weeks with these new batteries and so far so good so I'm calling it fixed. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Hit like if it helped you out, and thanks for watching.